across the line of scrimmage, but bro. Yes, completely. Like I was so confused, um, not really sure why they didn't pass the ball that much, but definitely was throwing us off a little bit. But no complaints. Did you get the feeling they were just trying to get out of town? I, I, that's why. That's kind of how I felt about it. I mean, I'm not really sure why else they would not throw the ball that many times. So I guess that was maybe their mindset. They wanted to just make sure that none of their quarterbacks really got hurt and stuff like that. Maybe. It's the same thing I asked Kendall. Though. Probably going to see it thrown a few more times. Yes, definitely anxious about uh, seeing the ball be thrown more, um, getting in the film room and just seeing like some of the stuff they did against Georgia Southern and stuff like that. So I'm definitely excited about them throwing the ball. How much has their offense changed, if any, with, with the addition of uh, Jared Stidham? Yeah, with their uh, new quarterback, I feel like you know they're definitely like uh, spreading out more. It's definitely a whole lot different from last year, where um, you know they didn't really, they kind of did more of like. I guess like a triple option type of offense. So they're definitely uh, not trying to spread the ball out. And he's a good quarterback um, from uh, Baylor. So he's doing a really good job for them. Any other wide receivers stand out to you? Or have you been able to watch them? Um, a little bit. I still need to get more, uh, see more, more about him. But I know uh, number 33, the little slot receiver, uh, he's a good shifty guy side to side, um, does well in the slot. Um, I think number three, maybe in a Kyle Davis, I know he's a good receiver too um, from my area in Gwinnett, so I know a good bit about him. Um, but yeah, I'm anxious to get get it going against those guys. Um, looking at Jarrett Stedham, would you say that the deep ball is probably the best part of his arsenal? Um, yeah, I would agree that that's definitely a, a good attribute for him. Um, he definitely does, does a good job reading the field and reading the defense and things of that nature. Um, but I definitely would agree that the deep ball is definitely you know one of their go-tos. Um, it was kind of tough. I mean, I felt like it was good for us just to, you know, get get, get the uh, get get it going against a team that you know we haven't been going against, like going against each other and stuff. So it was, I guess it was good to for us to you know start so start somewhere, start fresh. Um, I think it definitely you know makes us uh, I guess I'm trying to say more um, more ready. Just the fact that we got a little bit of rustiness off, if, if any, um, to go against Auburn. So I think we learned, you know. Just more about our, maybe our depth. You know, we had, we had a lot of people play, so um, our depth was real good stepping in and stuff like that. Speaking of depth, y'all, y'all got to play a lot of those young players mm -hmm. and still holding the three points. Who, who are some of the younger guys that kind of stood out? Um, Kayvon Wallace, definitely, because you know he got up, got in there and got some snaps early um, at strong safety, and he was doing really good. Uh, no drop off at all. Um, um, uh, Amir Trap got in there. Uh, AJ Terrell. Um, those young DBs who are uh, playing playing very well in my opinion so um, they definitely stood out to me and like the whole linebacker linebacker core definitely did well too. Isaiah Sims had a couple of hard hits. Oh yeah. Games. Is that something you're used to seeing from him in practice? Um, yeah definitely I feel like he's always been bringing it in practice um, I guess now he's being able to show it and stuff like that that's definitely a guy that I would want to name as um, somebody who stood out to me as well so and I'm really excited about Isaiah and I'm excited about things he's gonna be able to do for us in the near future. I'm not really sure. I know he's a guy that moves around for us and does a lot for us. I'm not really sure how it'll go this week or not, but I know, you know, with um, how Van is and stuff like that, you never really know. So I, he always want to make sure that he's paying attention to the strong safety and the film room and stuff like that. But I'm not sure if he'll if it'll be changed week in and week out. You but a, any update on Van? No, I don't have any okay. update on Van. Um, I guess I'm just as clueless. Okay. You know. Can you tell us about a little bit about your relationship with Coach Don and how nice it is to have him be able to, able to actually coach you on the field? It was big for me just because, uh, you know, he's done a lot for me as far as me just as a player. And um, it's been very beneficial to have him on the side, I mean, on the sideline, I mean, not on the sideline, but at practice and stuff like that, you know, just going over stuff. And I try to do my best to pay attention to the safety stuff too, just because you just never really know. And it's just good to, you know, have a knowledge of what other guys are doing in their position and stuff like that. So, um, you know, having Coach Khan there is just really big for me. You know, he's always in my ear telling me about if I need to bring it in more in practice, you know, be more of a leader showing the younger guys and stuff. So he's definitely been very beneficial to me. How have you seen him change, if at all, from just his coaching style in high school and then now in college? Yeah, I definitely feel like though it's like, you know, he has to kind of take a, take a little bit more of a backseat. You know, when he was in high school, he had that more of like, he's like the one in charge, you know, the guys. So I guess, yeah, the, yeah, CEO, boss type. So I guess he's kind of just, he's trying to find his little, his, his new role as well. Um, but he's doing a really good, a really great job. 
for us and the, uh, with the safeties. And um, you know, I'm pretty sure all the guys like him, and they're all taking on uh, taking on his coaching well. So um, the biggest change for him, I guess, is just yeah, just being in a new role and seeing how that goes.